Good afternoon, MC Procrastinator here. I hope everybody is doing well. This is a long term review for my Honda CBR 1000RR. Um, for those of you that are familiar with my channel, um, you will be aware that I'm currently selling this motorcycle. I'm looking for something um, a bit different, something that just has a little bit more wow factor with regards to looks. Not that this is not a nice looking motorcycle. You may have also seen the um, bioluminescent, I call it, but simply glow in the dark um, videos that are available on YouTube. If you haven't, I suggest you go and check them out. The bike really is, um, for looks, it is a very nice looking bike. Um, this is the black version. It's a 2015. It has um, extras on the motorcycle. You can see the gold Olin suspension, which is an aftermarket suspension that's been added to the rear of the motorcycle. That's approximately two and a half thousand dollars. You can see the um, AGV gear levers. I don't know if you can see, I'm going to come around. You can see that there's the um, heated grips there. This motorcycle's done 19,000 kilometers. Actually, it's done about 19,600 kilometers. And I'm just going to introduce you to my new friend. Um, this might be a bit strange, but um, so I'm going to try and record this session as well in um, 360 VR. And um, we're looking just, I guess, just quickly before I get into it, I'm looking to work out where is the best place to mount the camera on the motorcycle. I'm thinking actually on the mirror get some kind of adapter that fits it on the mirror and then we can get the, the whole length of the bike above me and I'm not blocking the view of what's going on around. Okay, so the Honda CBR, uh, I've had it since December the 24th. That was the date that I collected the motorcycle. Um, that was where I traded in my 2011 Honda CBR 1000RR, which was the Repsol. I've done some um, little configuration parts to this with the way that it looks. Again, if you've seen my other channels, go and check them out. Uh, I do a little bit of a talk on that, just the red striping, etc. Um, so the good thing is, so I purchased this uh, bike with, I think it was 16 and a half thousand Ks or 16,000 Ks. So I've done like nearly 4,000 or a bit, 4,000 and a bit Ks since uh, owning the vehicle. I have not had one even inclination touch wood of an issue. Nothing at all. It started on time. It runs perfectly. It, it really is something that I, f I don't have to worry about when I got on the motorbike, whether or not it's going to start or it's going to break down on me. Which is a really, really good point, right? Because when we look at some of these other bikes, you see quite a lot of problems. And th this does make it very difficult to um, decide on changing this bike into something else, especially when it's driven by the looks of the motorcycle, which again, you know, you, you can see is an extremely beautiful looking motorcycle. Um, so I've been looking at the Aprilia Tuano and certainly that is on one of my list of concerns, whether or not the reliability is there. Have I spoken to a few um, other uh, YouTubers that have the uh, Aprilia Tuano and it, and it seems to be quite consistently good. So, am I happy with the reliability of this motorcycle? Absolutely, yes. I have no doubt about its capabilities, its reliability. I think Honda make a fantastic machine. I think if you buy a Honda, you will never regret it from both its, per 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 bleh, both its performance perspective and with that performance that know that the uh, motorcycle is unlikely to break down on you. I will say, however, and it's worth bearing in mind that this um, motorcycle, this Honda CBR Fireblade, 
is the last of a pure breed. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it doesn't have ABS brakes. It doesn't have electronic um, stability or traction control or any other like fancy little tricks that perhaps keep you safe on the bike, you know, um, wheelie control, etc. So, you know, that, that might be a legacy in itself. We see that so many motorcycles now are coming out with all these technologies to keep us safe. And I will say there is a huge desire to have those extra things on a motorbike. I don't think I ever try and portray that I am anybody that is exceptionally good at, ride, uh, at riding um, this bike. You know, I ride this bike within my limits. Every so often, I'll pick a moment to open her up. But, you know, I truly can never ever, at least certainly without significant training, ride this bike to its full capabilities. So where does that leave me? It certainly leaves me in a bit of an odd place. It leaves me thinking about giving away or selling something that is definitely fit for purpose. I use this motorcycle every day, or at least most days, unless the weather is completely, absolutely terrible, which <laughs> Wellington, New Zealand can happen, but you know, I use it most days. You can probably get a good idea that I do a reasonable amount of Ks in a short space of time, which was one of my very first motivators for selling this bike. Um, so I give this bike a 10 out of 10 for reliability. I have definitely had experience with other bikes, MV Augusta, previous Aprilias, where they're certainly not as robust and such a safe bet as this guy is here. When it comes to the looks, I probably give this bike more of a six out of 10. Probably a set, it probably stretches to a seven with the extra things that I've done on it. So I'm still highly motivated to sell this bike. Perhaps I might even look at a, a new Honda Repsol 1000RR. I really believe that having a bike that looks as amazing as you feel is quite important. And yes, many of you may disagree and say that it's all about the ride. For me, I feel that I get the full potential of the ride when I know that I'm sitting on something that looks absolutely amazing. I'm just gonna give you a quick start and a reminder of what the growl is that comes from this great bike. Let's just start her up. So on the newer models of the CBR, um, post 2012, I believe, and we have to double check that, um, they come with the electronic dash. You can see there, so, um, so I'm just gonna pop out a wee bit, 19,722Ks. Uh, she's not in gear, so she should just start. There we go. There we go, so... She's not warm. I haven't done anything with her. She's, she's been in the garage, um, I'd say most of the week, but I did bring her out to do the video in the night. Um, I actually can't remember if I started her up then. I, I actually don't think I did. But yeah, uh, you have to admit, if you're looking for this bike and reliability and the surety around how much you have to spend on maintenance. And actually one more thing before I tie this up, because it's just started to rain, is the fuel economy. So in New Zealand, I use 90 octane fuel. 91 is the secondary um, availability around New Zealand for fuel. I always go with 98. And I get approximately 225, 230 kilometers um, to one tank, averaging out approximately 
um, somewhere between 17 to 18 liters, uh, sorry, 17 to 18 Ks for every liter of fuel that goes in a bike. But just remember, my speed is pretty much accelerating the motorcycle up to maximum top speed in whatever the speed limit is at the time. And that's it. So I'm not an aggressive rider. I just love to enjoy the ride. So give you an idea of my dimensions. I'm six foot one. I'm uh, 86 kgs. I'm quite well built. And I do have back problems. And 99% of the time, this bike does not give me an issue. The only time that I do get a problem with this bike is if I do have a bit of a back problem, I'm like a stiff old man coming off the bike. But actually on the bike doesn't really cause, give me cause for concern. However, moving forward, next bike, uh, I probably will seriously consider um, something like the Tuano style. Um, I just think in the long term, the next bike has to be the bike that I'm gonna I'm gonna keep for at least five to six years. Um, I don't want to have to go through this non-stop. I want to be able to create create good content, enjoy my ride, capture that, share that with you guys, and um, yeah, just really have a great experience. Enjoy motorcycling for what it is, and um, not have to worry about the silly little things that are getting to me at the moment. Just before I go, I'll give her a quick rev just for you guys to have a hear. So this is a Yoshimura exhaust. Here we go. Yep. It's right up there, isn't it? It's right up there. All right, guys. Thanks again. Like me, comment, subscribe, and MC Procrastinator out. Take care.